Hey guys, Dolphin Oracle here again today, along with the artist formerly known as Danny Boy. Hello. Claw Sky One Two Three. Help me out with something I don't do very often on my Linux laptop, which is play a video game. Now, I've only done like one video game video. That was the Super Tux Cart video. I was in that. He was in that. So that's why I called in him to help. Uh, Claw here runs his own, and I'll put a link in the show notes, his own YouTube channel with uh, mostly Minecraft vid videos. Yeah. But I like the uh, the one where you draw on things. What's that called? Uh, quick Draw. Quick Draw. So you do a Quick Draw. That, that video is hilarious. Anyway, check him out. It's uh, family friendly. If you got kids who want to watch YouTube and you don't know what to let them watch, uh, Claw here is, uh, you know, a kid. So he's not going to be like... An adult playing kid games. All right. Now, here is why we're going to test this. Now, everybody knows I run. I have a junk computer. I, uh, all my computers are used. That's one reason I use Linux. Now, what we found uh, on Christmas holiday, on Christmas vacation, is an extremely good deal at a rummage sale. Two games in one Ziploc bag for $2.00. And if you can see what that is, yes, that is Vintage Mech Warrior 2, the one, the only. You can call Mech Warrior the original, but it's not. It's Mech Warrior 2. Everybody knows this. This happens to be a Windows 95 version, so a little later, kind of a re release. It's actually got the Net Mech stuff in it. I don't expect any of that stuff to work. But what I do want to do is play uh, Mech Warrior. I want to drive giant robots around and blow stuff up. So, Claw here is going to help out. Now, we've got the CD drive open. We're going to pop in the disc. Now, the Windows 95, I'm not even going to bother try to fool around with the wine stuff. We're going to go with the DOS mode on this thing, because I was a DOS gamer the last time I played this. So, on. so here, the disc is going in. Okay, while the disc is loading, I'm going to show you two apps that you're going to need to install. I'm going to find my notes here. Oh, I didn't make this always on top. Let's do that real quick. There we go. So, two notes. One, one, you're going to need to install... DOSBox. Now, you know what DOSBox is. Some of you guys that play old games probably know. There we go. CD's mounted now. DOSBox has, uh, it will turn your modern machine into a, you know, 1992 DOS-based computer. Uh, I've already got installed. It's available in our default repositories. Just go ahead and install. You also want a package called CDRDAO. And what that's going to do, that's going to let us um, rip off rip the disk onto an image file on the computer so that uh, it's something that DOSBox can read because DOSBox has a problem with reading multi-format disk. This has both CD audio tracks and digital files and it has trouble with this. There's, there's a couple others that have the same problem. Um, anyway, so uh, DOSBox is already installed so we're gonna, we're gonna crack it open. So go ahead, Dan, do just type DOSBox on the thing. DOSBox emulator, there it is. And we're going to go enter. So DOSBox is up and running. Oh, you know what? I forgot to make the image file. So this is DOSBox. So it's literally 1992 here. This is, I know one kid that I talked to one time says, I'm in the dark place. This is what he was talking about. The <laughs> prompt. I know, right? So anyway, we'll come back to DOSBox. So I forgot. We need to do the CD ripping. So here's the command. We're going to read um, this. This Let me, uh, let me do this. Let's make it a little bigger. I'll put the commands in the show notes. But here's my command, and all you gotta do is make sure you have the right device for your CD drive. So we're gonna take this, and we're going to Control C, and we're gonna open a terminal, the regular terminal, not the DOSBox terminal, and we are going to paste that in. I use Control Alt V, Control -Alt -V but you can use right click up and paste. We're gonna enter. Now this is. I hate it when that happens. Why is it in use? Oh, I remember why it's in use. It has to be unmounted. So there you go. You have to unmount the device. Not eject. So don't use the little guy down here in the corner. You just want to unmount it. And that's going to do its thing. And this is going to take a really long time. because It's going to it's going to rip all the audio tracks. It's going to rip the data into a raw format. So we're going to pause the video here and let it do its thing. Okay, we're back. That took about 
no, 10 or 12 minutes for that routine to run through. Now what you end up with when you do that is you end up with two files. You end up with a mech2.bin file, if you use the command I used, and a mech2.toc file. Now the bin's got the data, the toc's got like a list of pointers that tell the system where to get the data. But DOSBox can't read a TOC file. DOSBox needs a Q file, a CUE file. Luckily there is a command that comes down with the with the uh, CDR DA whatever, CDR DAO tools that does this for you. And this is a very quick process, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna paste that command in. And we're done. So we should have a Q file. There it is. All right. So now we are going to, I'm going to copy the bin file and the Q file into an image files folder so that I know where they're at. And now I think we can start Dropbox. Yes, start Dropbox. So we're going Whoa. to do Dropbox. Drop. Oh, that's right, because it's DOSBox. It's not Dropbox. It's DOSBox. Drop, DOS, DOS, drop. Okay. Yeah, DOSBox. Sounds that sounds similar. Yeah, but you're right. It was I need to be precise. Okay, so now we have to we have to do two, a couple things with DOSBox. You see that it says Z colon here. Now most people know that internal drive is C. DOSBox lets you choose whatever folder you want to be your C drive. We have created a folder called DOS stuff, and that's what we're going to do it. Well, where we're going to make our C drive. So mount C, and this is my home folder. So home, so, and it does do the uh, tilde expansion, so that's good. Um, DOS stuff. DOS. Drive C is mounted as local directory home slash dolphin dash DOS stuff. Great. All right, so now we want to mount the image file as well. And the image file is the image mount is here. Now, we're going to copy that command, but it's image mount E is going to be the name of the drive letter because in, remember in DOS and Windows dr dr drives are get drive letters, so we got to have a drive letter for the drive. And this is the directory now. To the um, we are going to have to specify for this this command that actually isn't right because I'm I'm uh, uh, change things up slightly. Image mount E. And the the CD drive is home slash uh, image files. I think is what we named it. Image files. Yes. Yeah. And now we specify the Q file, and then we have to give it a slash t, a dash t, which is just type, and then ISO. That tells DOSBox that it's going to mount an ISO file, an ISO file system. This is an ISO file. It's a file system as a CD. Cool. All right. Yeah. So hit enter. This is the Microsoft CD ex uh, extensions that's installed. Drive E is now mounted. Awesome. So now we actually have to go through the process of installing MechWarrior. This is just like it's 2005 all over again, or 1995 all over again. So we are going to uh, uh, now run the CD drive and. If you type dir, you'll see all the all the files, and you'll be tempted to start setup. But savvy DOS Windows users will remember that setup is Windows installers, and install is DOS installers. So we're actually going to type install because it's 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 actually in there uh, somewhere. Uh, yeah, install.exe. So we're going to type install, and it's going to run the DOS the MechWarrior installer in the window. Don't worry, you can go full screen later if you want to. And we're actually going to, um, you can also speed up the emulation speed. Uh, you'll see uh, while we're waiting for the installer to load, you'll see this 3000 cycles up here. You can actually yeah. use a key command to increase that up to around 10,000. I actually run around 9700 or so. Um, that speeds up the emulation. Okay, so we got a bunch of gobbledygook here on the screen about configuring your sound devices. This is pretty old school because none of this was automatic back in the DOS, DOS days. Each program had to know about the hardware. You didn't tell the operating system about the hardware. You told the, the program. People forget that about the bad old days of DOS. <laughs> so select and configure the MIDI driver. Okay, I'm, I'm actually going to take the Creative Lab Sound Blaster because it's all set up for that already. 
detected successfully. Okay, so we're going to accept those settings. And now it's going to let us choose the sound card, I think. Uh, this is something about, probably doesn't matter anymore, we'll see, well, maybe we print extensive document, valuable information. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to skip it, because, uh, I think I need to go back, I think I forgot to, to set the sound card. Uh, let's see, configure sound device, yeah, I did. Alright, Confi select and configure digital audio driver, there it is. See, you... You guys think Linux installers are tr tricky. Try this. So, okay, now it's accepted. Accept settings. Do, 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 do. Because, like I said, all right, accept inst and install. So now it's going to do its thing. It's going to install. Now, uh, it's, oh, wait. Minimal, recommended, or full blown? Oh, my God. The full blown installation requires 110 megabytes. Whoa! That yeah, was big in 19 whatever, not big today. So we're going to do the full blown one, put everything on the drive. Anything else will be complicated. Wait, 100 megabytes is large? Used to be large? The first system that I played MechWarrior 2 on only had a 100 megabyte hard drive. I had to compress the hard drive to make enough room to put MechWarrior 2 on it. That's tiny. It's tiny. But times change and things happen. All right, so this is going to go through a bunch of installs, going to copy a bunch of files over. I are going to pause because this part's really boring and we'll come right back. Okay, we're back and we've got the electronic registration card. I would suggest not registering since the game came out in 1995. I think the servers might be down. If you can even do it on a server, I don't know. We're going to bypass it with B. MechWarrior 2 has been successfully installed on your system. Press oh, yeah. the key to continue. Okay. No. So, do you want to make a boot desk? No, because we're going to use DOSBox for everything. Installation complete, returning to the DOS. Okay, so we're there. And we're in the Mech 2 directory. So, I've got one other uh, item here. Let me open up a web browser real quick, because we want to speed the emulation up, and I don't remember what the key command is. The little box, when you open it up, tells you that it's like Control, L, I want to say F11 and F12. But, there is a... There is a... There is a hang up on that. Whoops. Special keys, here we go. There's a hang up on that. Uh, in Linux, you need to absolutely you have to additionally use the win key for the same result. So we have to use win plus F eleven or F twelve to increase and decrease the cycles, the emulation hmm. cycles. That's what I couldn't remember is which key it was. So you can see there's three thousand cycles. I'm gonna put control, win, and F twelve. You see how it goes up? Hey! So we're going to raise that up. Whoops, that's probably a little far. I think the other day when I tried this, I did it around 95. So I'm going to do it right there. I think there's a way to increment it finally, but I just did whatever the system did. And we're going to type... Uh, I actually forget how to launch it. I think it's MW2. MW2. Oh, it's Mech2, because I did it wrong and it tells me. Mech2. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but the audio from the intro video is playing. We've got radio chatter from the mechs. And yes, you can run this full screen, but I'm going to leave it in a window for the purposes of this video. But there's a DOSBox key command to run it full screen. Alright, great. Well, the video is working. Alright, we're going to skip to the thing. Wolf Clan. I've never played this. What's Wolf Clan? Well, I don't really know much about the mythology of the game, but basically the 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 mech warriors are humans who live on a different different star system, and they duel each other in giant robots. Why? Anyway, they have to, some people want to conquer the Earth, and some people want to protect the Earth. And I forget which one the wolves are. I think the wolves want to protect it, and the falcons want to conquer it. And this game is about their war to decide which way the rest of the clans were going to go. So, okay, we're going to make we're going to make a pilot uh, new allegiance. So, whoops. Dang it. I did that wrong. Wait, so you can play as both the bad guys and the good guys? Yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. So, I gave myself a, a name, a pilot, except and now you're in the thing. So, we're going to go qu really quickly to the training area. 
or to the ready room just to see if the game actually works. We're just going to go ahead and launch. I don't even know what it is. It doesn't matter. So you click on the briefing. I think the launch button's from there. So, Dan, you should be able to use the mouse to drive around and probably the arrow keys knowing DOS games in 1995. Yep, definitely working. Okay, oh. we'll start you moving. Fire a laser or something. Use the mouse button. Doesn't fire? I forget how to fire. Oh, there we go. Okay, by default, a spacebar. Yeah, that was a 20 pack of missiles. So, anyway, the game's working. The controls are bad, but you can configure that yourself. There's a whole slew of control edit options built into the MechWarrior game. You don't have to mess around with the. Uh, with the configuration of DOSBox. Yeah, this and is it runs just good. fine. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org. Whew, missiles. Or throw up a post at, at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle and... Claw Sky 123 Signing off. Have a great day.